All right, guys, before I get into the patch notes, I want to uh, make a couple of quick announcements. Uh, I don't want to take too long. Uh, a lot of you guys know I was involved in the NVIDIA RTX Stream On competition with me and two other broadcasters. Uh, thank you so much to everybody from the Twitch and the YouTube community for the support on that. As many of you know, I won the competition. It's been unreal. Uh, thank you so much. Giant Waffle, the other Twitch streamer, who's the one that kind of took me under his wing, he won 20 graphics cards to give away. Um, he decided to be gracious enough to give them to me to give away to my community. Um, I ended up giving those away. You can see the details on Twitter. But uh, what, one of the things I wanted to mention was uh, in the uh, the last few weeks, I had been talking to a number of people from the different communities that were involved in the, the competition. And a, na a name that kept coming up multiple times from a number, a number of different sources um, was another content creator named Finest XI. I ended up checking out his stream, and it uh, it turns out I think he was uh, you know a, a member of my community as well as one of the other broadcasters, Slarksy's community. Um, he is a super unique content creator. There's so much overlap between what I do and what he does. I've got so much respect for this guy for the small amount of time that I've known him. Uh, you guys should check out his channel. Um, I'm gonna toss his links down in the description below. He's a musician like me. He plays Tarkov. He plays drums in the middle of the stream. Like. He's, he's got all the things I love he's doing. So uh, he's one of my new favorite streamers. You guys should check him out. Because of that, uh, I want to show my, my respect and appreciation for the guy. Uh, I was able to talk to NVIDIA, and uh, they were able to, able to scrounge together one more RTX 2060 to give away to Finest XI. I talked to him earlier today um, and gave him some of the details. So he's got a two-PC setup, and I guess one of his graphics cards he wants to update. Yeah, so I just wanted to give him a quick shout out. You should uh, definitely click on the links in the description. Check out his channel. Give him a follow. Uh, when he gets hosted or when he, uh, you know, gets subscribers, he hops over onto the drum set and we'll give you guys a drum solo. He's a super cool down to earth guy. Check him out. And uh, congrats, Finest. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to hanging out in your stream and, uh, and seeing what you do with the new graphics card. All right, so on to the patch notes. Uh, one of the things I want to get out of the way really quick is that uh, I'm not going to be going over everything in this list. I did a quick cursory look over. There's a lot of things that either because of the English, Russian translations, uh, or, you know, because I'm not familiar at all with the bugs. A lot of the things I'm, I'm going to be skipping over are, are things either that aren't interesting, I'm not excited for, or I don't understand. I'm going to try to cover all the interesting stuff to make this as uh, succinct as possible. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's uh, crack straight into it, shall we? Uh, first things first, 11.7 patch notes. There will be a wipe, and it's planned for early next week, Monday, Tuesday. Please, God, don't ask me when the wipe is going to be. Now you know. Uh, let's see. All right, cool. So we know about the SVD. Uh, we know about the Vepper Hunter. You guys can look on Reddit, on Twitter for all, all that stuff. Uh, so that's cool. The DTMDR assault rifle. I don't actually remember what that is. What is that? I don't know. Did they... Oh, right. Okay. That's the bullpup. That's the, uh, the five, five, six bullpup sick. Okay. So that's coming in uh, 11.7. All right. That's cool. That's going to be interesting to see how that thing, uh, how that thing works and how balanced it's going to be. Okay. So, uh, we got more detailed information about medical items in the inspection menu. I wonder what that's all about. Um, it could very well be that they're going to be giving us info about like how much heals over time. Uh, how much HP maybe, you know, so you're able to do kind of a more, more of an at-a-glance comparison between different med items. I think more information, the better, in my opinion. Um, all right, improvements for old quests with some new mechanics. I uh, can't wait to see what that's all about. I, I have no idea if that's at all related to the video that I did uh, uh, begging Nikita to, uh, to freshen up the quests with some new, more meaningful kind of game design elements. That's going to be cool to see what this is. I'm excited. I'm excited to start questing on day one all over again. Um, added a new condition. Find in the raid for some quests. It means that it will count only found on location items that you pick up and extract with or save in secured container. I think, again, that might or may not. I don't want to take credit for it, but uh, but I, I definitely talked about uh, elements of that uh, in that quest video. So that's, that's cool because what it does is it makes it so that you can't just cheese quests by buying shit. Like you can't just buy your way through the quests. Um, maybe it's going to be some quests. I don't know if it's all the quests, if the mechanics, you know, gunsmith quests are going to be like that or not. That'll be interesting because there are a lot of random 
bits there that you uh, definitely can buy, like flea market. Uh, but if you have to find it, that'll be interesting. Uh, that will also probably kill the kind of aftermarket third party black market for a lot of these items, right? If, uh, you know, finding things like, you know, gas blocks or specific grips or whatever, the things that are arbitrarily inflated in price only because they're needed for one specific quest and you can't buy them because they're locked behind those quests. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how how the market for those responds to this. And I think one cool element is if they if a lot of the items, like I said, those gas blocks or grips or whatever, if those items uh, can't be purchased, they have to be found, uh, then that means that hopefully they can take the limit off in the traders so that anytime you want to buy them, you're not you're not limited by that kind of artificial limit of two, three, five, ten, whatever. That'll be cool. I think that's a win, 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 win. That's that's really fucking awesome. I like that. Uh, third USEC voice. Um, I think most of us know about uh, 41, one of my buddies uh, in the EFT community, awesome broadcaster. Uh, he's doing uh, USEC 3. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome to to run around screaming like, uh, like I actually have a manly voice for once. So that's going to be cool. Uh, access to lab with the key card. They don't have any details about what the key card is how you get it or how much it'll cost uh where to get it how to get it i'm not sure maybe i missed something on reddit i'll have to look around but uh it's going to be cool to see the labs uh, blocked behind a key card i really hope that they buff the loot and or take nades out of the hands of raiders because they're just broken with them uh so if it was expensive and not quite as uh random and risky as it was with some of the broken uh raider elements but still challenging uh but the risk reward both i want the risk and reward i want to be raised for sure so that's going to be cool uh to see how that pans out and how that changes the economy uh new weapon parts and modifications so let's take a look i was looking at this video earlier um it looks like they have uh that I think all of these elements exist already, except I think this might be a new grip. Um, maybe that flat dark earth mag is new. I think maybe that that magazine is new. I could be wrong. Um, let's see. See if I can suss out what the new elements are going to be. That looks like a an RSAS suppressor. But on an M4 and that little stubby grip, I'm not sure if that's new or not. I don't use any of the new stubby grips, uh, the RK, whatever the numbers are. But uh, but that's that uh, looks cool. I wonder if it's probably going to be pretty high ergo. Uh, but yeah, it'll be cool to see different suppressors for sure. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's... Oh, this is fucking sexy. Okay, so that, uh, that uh, front kind of slanted grip looks super ergonomic. And that new... Uh, like rail system and potentially muzzle brake. That looks really sleek, cool, especially with those irons. Those new iron sights are sick. I should be using those more for sure. Uh, I really like that, the low profile look of this whole build, especially with that front flashlight too. Damn, that's sick. Ooh, and a new mag. Wow, there's a lot new. And maybe the stock too? Shit, is this like whole thing new ex except for the uh, the grip, the uh, the hand grip? Hmm. Interesting, okay. What is that, like a Magpul? It almost looks like Magpul furniture that you get for, like, the AK. But for uh, for the M4. All right, that's, that's cool. And a new suppressor. Wow, that makes that M4 look much smaller and more compact. I like that. There must be a different barrel, too. That looks like a really short barrel. Oh, I'm getting so stoked. Finally, they're getting giving us more uh, tan, flat, dark earth elements. Uh, I'm hoping that they are a little bit more coordinated in their shade and they match a little bit more. But oh my god, this thing is gonna be. It looks like one of those nuts ergo builds where you ADS like instantly. Uh, what does that, what does that say stinger? All right, so that's super cool looking. Uh, I think what's new there is the uh, either the barrel uh, or the that whole front rail housing area plus the uh the barrel and the uh muzzle brake couldn't remember what the fuck it was called and the magazine wow they're they're finally giving us 
it's been it feels like it's been so long since we've got new parts it really hasn't been but uh you get so used to them that anytime you see something new you just get so excited for the kind of customization options that you have coming so that's pretty sick uh holy fuck is that a hundred round mag <laughs> oh my god oh my god no why um a new uh, 9x19 AP cartridge. Okay, it'll be interesting to see if uh, if this thing actually has some pen, if 9mm is actually going to be viable. I really hope it is because I love some of the 9mm guns, but I never use them because literally after the first month, they're useless as soon as people start wearing face masks. You're just going to lose 85% of your fights uh, against actual competent, ready people that are in an aim duel with you. So I'm looking forward to this because I really want to start using some more of those guns. Uh, optimizations. Okay, fix many issues causing freezes and stuttering. We'll see. Uh, many issues causing desync. Sick. Optimizations of customs interchange. Rain. Sick. Uh, optimization of AI behavior algorithms. We'll see. I, I wonder if that's going to bring the slider from like complete and utterly inept. They don't even shoot at you, or they're actually gods that can just throw a grenade into your internals from halfway across the map. Uh, hopefully they, the optimization brings that closer to, you know, the high end of actual realistic high skilled humans. We'll have to see that. Uh, that looks, looks like it's going to be awesome. Optimizations are always wanted, always needed. Uh, and they always, they always end up coming on feeling great. The first couple of weeks of the wipe, and then they start to get worse and worse and worse and worse until it really starts to go real bad towards the end. I hope we don't see that again, but we'll have to see. Uh, bot starts twitching if a player comes close to it in online raid. I I wonder if that's like the, they're like, they're trying to <laughs> like trying to aim, but they get like freaked out, and it always scares the shit out of me every time. I I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I really wish they didn't fix that. That was the best bug. Uh, bug where cracks were displayed on the visor of the perfect. Yeah, bug. Uh, bugs where cracks were displayed on the visor of the perfect condition. But <laughs> bug bug where cracks were displayed on the visor of the perfect condition of it. Uh, it's sick, cool. <laughs> Every now and then I'd buy a I'd buy something from the flea market that had perfect condition with a crack in it, and that always fucking triggered me. So that's awesome. Uh, bug when removing mods from weapons hanging on the corpse. They usually uh, visually remain on the weapon. Yeah, there's so many times where I'd. Uh, go over to like a scav raider and labs who'd have a, an AKSU with a suppressor, take the suppressor off it, get into a fight or here, look over and see the suppressor and think I forgot it, go back and it wouldn't be on there. So that's, that's cool. A uh, regular drop down error at the time of the, a regular drop down error at the time of bot spawning, a regular drop down error at the time of bot spawning in the lab. A reg, do they mean like frame drops? I don't know what the fuck that means. I hope it's a frame drops or lagging or whatever. Because when the raiders spawn in, you fucking freeze for a few seconds. And yeah, that's got to be killed a bunch of times. Uh, errors while loading the lab location. Yeah, that was a problem. For, big problem, I think, for a lot of people for a while. Uh, the bug that didn't update the count of messages and attachments in the chat window. I think that was a relatively new one. Maybe the last like couple of weeks. That's been really annoying lately. So I'm glad that that's uh, hopefully going to be going away. Because I'm one of those people that like can't have any... You know, a number in my email icon. I need to clear all those those bubbles. Uh, it's really fucking annoying. So, sweet. Uh, fix problems with culling, hiding invisible items at the lab. There were there's a lot of places in the labs where if you like stand in a corner and you're reloading or healing and you're like aim down sights, like shit just disappears. Uh, so hopefully that that's fixed because uh, that was really annoying for sure. Uh, various fixes of problems associated with the positioning of the sound coming from above and below. We will see about that i'm excited anytime that there's sound fixes um so far they haven't taken any steps backward really that i can remember uh it's it's always just been kind of incremental improvements with the sound so super excited for that bugs related to late spawn sick hopefully there's no more late spawns because those are, are really really fucking annoying uh door desync awesome looking forward to uh less of the door desync i wonder if that'll I wonder if that has anything to do with the scabs too. Like when the scabs walk through the doors, uh, literally through the doors. Um, I wonder if that's desync or if that's just some other bug we'll have to see. All right. So what has changed? 
increased recoil of all weapons, average of 30%. I'm all for this. Uh, this widens the skill gap a little bit, which I actually like because uh, having, having shot a number of firearms uh, as an amateur, not as some sort of, you know, I've never been a never been a soldier, never been a professional, never had any sorts of training. Um, I do own a number of firearms and have had quite a bit of practice with them. Um, but I will say that you know when I go and I shoot an, you know an AK um, or one of the like M4 platform guns, fully automatic, it really the thing that stood out to me with Tarkov the first time I played with the AK 74U, uh, the the small AK is how much that recoil felt like I feel when I shoot in real life definitely starts to bounce around, but you can kind of control it. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you're going to be starting off uh, with base recoil control and it's going to be, it's going to be hard, I think to control a lot of the weapons with 30% more uh, recoil. Uh, it's going to mean that semi-auto tap firing being precise is going to make a lot of a difference. So that's cool. I'm all for that. Um, added the lower left-hand corner of the dog tags icon level number. Sweet. That's really cool because I, I hate having to double click on every single freaking tag to see like, oh, that one's 22, that one's 14, that one's seven. So you can figure out for trading sort wise. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, added the ability to get up when reloading prone. Oh my God. I've been, I've been crying about this for so long. The fact that if you go prone and you start a reload, you're stuck there for three to five seconds, unable to do anything. You can't cancel. You can't, even if you have to drop the mag, you can't do anything. You can't stand up. I've died so many times where I just take my hands off the keyboard and the mouse because I know I'm dead when someone's walking at me and I'm just sitting there reloading. It, I'm so fucking glad that you can stand up while going prone. Uh, sorry, stand up while uh, reloading prone. That is going to be such a nice quality of life. Uh, change. I'm I'm so fucking happy for that. Increase the items spawn in safes. Yeah, lately, other than Bitcoin, like back in the day, you used to find a lot more. It felt like clocks and uh, lions and uh, rollers and all that stuff in safes. Lately, especially with cash too. I don't know if this includes cash. Probably not. But uh, it, they just seem like the safes sucked. And I really think that they should add more value to the safes for sure. Uh, so that's cool. The image enhancement of the night vision goggles. Cool. I wonder if this will make them actually viable. Because even with all the new ones, even with the blue ones and some of the ones that have it so that you see like full full field of view, uh, those have been, they, they just suck. They, like there's no point. Uh, in factory, so many of the lights are so bright and the night vision goggles are so bright. And a lot of the other maps at nighttime aren't dark enough to justify the night vision goggles, even when it's the darkest that it can be. So maybe this will make them clearer and a little bit easier to use and hopefully will encourage some more night play for sure. Uh, the speed of the movement is now set to the maximum after the sprint if you previously moved slowly. So the way I interpret this is uh, if you were slow walking and you know, use the scroll wheel to slow walk and then you sprint and you stop, if you go to walk again, you won't be slow walking like you would you were previously when you had uh, changed your speed down. I think this means that it's just going to be back to normal. It resets resets your movement speed to the the normal kind of maximum movement speed uh, as soon as you sprint. So that that is a great user experience uh, quality of life improvement for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, now the repair money is spent from the stash and not from the container on the character. Interesting. All right. So if you want to put like a wallet. Uh, you know, in your in your container to take in with you to take some of those alternate extracts, you know, from woods or from uh, interchange. A lot of times you end up putting money in there, but either repairs or purchases or whatever you make, they get spent from the fucking container first. So when you're in the raid, you go to look and the money's gone. Uh, that's going to be cool. That might actually make it, you know, make it more likely that I'm going to be carrying around a, you know, a docs case with a few stacks of cash in there for, for uh, you know, any cases where I need to take any of the alternate extracts. So interesting. Cool. All right, so balancing changes in quest experience awards. I wonder, I wonder if that's going to give you like balancing. It, 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 that either means that they're increasing it all, they're decreasing it all, um, or that maybe the earlier, easier quests uh, will give you much less XP, uh, and the later ones will give you more. I'm not sure if that's interesting. Uh, we'll have to see how that works. 
Uh, these next two, god damn it. Uh, increased chance of fractures from bullets and increased damage to armor and helmets. So the increased chance of fracture from bullets, um, I, I guess I'm okay with that. Because uh, it's realistic, you know, if you get shot, I would expect a bone to be hit and break. That's okay. Uh, I think that's uh, the, the kind of extra challenge and the need to bring in things like splints or grizzlies or, uh, you know, to, to pop your, you know, have, have your, your pain uh, killers ready, um, you know, to get out of uh, a sticky situation as fast as possible. I like that. But increased damage to armor and helmets. We'll have to see how that kind of rebalancing works because right now, given the price of the highest tier uh, armor, and the cost of repairing it being so astronomical. Every patch, the viability of the top level armor and helmets becomes less and less and less and less to where friggin', you know, uh, Mosin with the le first level uh, ammo can one tap everything basically. Um, I don't know. That's gonna have to be, we're gonna have to test that out. I don't know how that's gonna change the meta. I don't know if, yeah. Like one of the things that I've seen lately is is that uh, armor and helmets, for the most part, like you either get shot through the face and the helmet, you know, doesn't save you, or you get shot and your legs and arms are immediately blacked out, and the armor almost doesn't matter either. Like, I don't know. That's it's going to be interesting to see uh, if that is going to make it more kind of hardcore and realistic, or if it's just going to make everybody run around naked because the the gap between being naked and having, you know, tier six armor and helmets is just one or two levels of ammo that, you know, you can get after a week or two of playing. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, change ammo stacks. I'm not sure what that is either, but I've always thought that they should have like nine mil bullets. You should be able to have a stack of like a hundred for the same size that like a stack of like 43 or eight or whatever. That's, you know, probably not a realistic ratio, but you know, you should be able to stack more of the small stuff uh, in a, in a stack. So I hope that's what that is. If not, we'll have to see. Uh, they made the ammo case bigger. I always like cases being bigger, so that's cool. Replace the mechanical keys with key cards for the lab. Interesting. So I think they'll be visually different um, as well as, you know, maybe the, the, the animations will be different. Maybe you'll have to swipe them or wave them. I don't know if they're magnetic or what, but cool. That's going to be, that's going to be cool to see what they look like. I hope they still fit inside of a key bar or a docks container. I'm not sure. So uh, added new loot points on the customs. Uh, cool. I've I've said for a long time, and a lot of people have said this, that there needs to be more high value loot areas spread out on the map, right? Because there's only two places that are interesting to go: dorms where marked room is, and uh, in the gas station where uh, you know where the scav boss can spawn. Other than that, there's pretty much not that many interesting places to go on customs. So it'll be interesting to see how the flow of the map changes. If there's more new expensive, I don't know what kind of loot it's going to be, but uh, any any changes they make even to the existing maps is really interesting to see how, how that affects the gameplay. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, improved quality of loot in the Kiva store on the interchange. Cool. Uh, sick. Especially now with Killa around. Um, I'm excited for uh, for there to be more of a reward for the risk. Uh, because in my opinion, it really wasn't really that worth going Kiba for a long time. So I'm I'm uh, looking forward to that. All right, and finally, corrected the amount of ammo robot bots have. I'm assuming that that means that they like don't have infinite ammo, uh, and that like if they reload a couple of times when you kill them and you look in their chest rigs, that they don't have like three full magazines there. Um, so that'll be kind of interesting. I wonder if that means that they'll run out of ammo, because I don't know that I've ever noticed them run out of ammo or not, but. All right, sick. So I'm super, super, really fucking excited for 11.7. Uh, I'm really excited. It's coming in a few days. I uh, should be streaming all weekend. So I look forward to seeing you guys on the stream. Uh, leave a comment. I want to know what you guys are most excited for or if I missed anything or got anything wrong or whatever. Let me know. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Now I have a fucking answer when the 8,000 people come in and then say, what's the vibe? Uh, uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll uh, we'll see you when the patch drops. Peace.